Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. It's been a while, mainly because I've just been feeling like tired. Like I don't want, I didn't want to sit and film a video and clean up whatever you see in the background. So here I am again, and it is because I made a purchase from Sephora. I forgot, I purchased something else from Sephora that I needed, and of course it's escaping my mind right now, but I figured while I was purchasing stuff from Sephora, I try out Rare Beauty. And I don't need any more foundation. That reminds me, yes. I was buying a refill of this, of my Makeup Forever foundation. Anyway, I figured I'd try, try out Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. And there's just a million makeup brands out there right now, but I don't blame celebrities for wanting to make their own because if I was a celebrity, I would totally make my own makeup brand. Anyway, um, so yeah, I don't need any foundation or blush or whatever she had, but what I think I did need was this Blot & Glow touch-up kit. Basically, I thought the packaging was really cute, and as you can see, I'm an oily person, so I figured, why not give it a try? So this is the box it comes in. Oh, it, I just realized it's the same on both sides. That's interesting. So it says, um, I got it in translucent. I think that's the only, like, color it comes in. A refillable compact containing oil-absorbing sheets and a radiant powder-infused puff for easy touch-ups on the go. Comes with 100 blotting papers and a blotting powder that's 0.17 ounces or 5 grams. All right. So it's been a full day. I'm wearing a full face of makeup. I mean, I have a lot of acne right now and the makeup I use doesn't really cover it fully. So that's why I'm also, you see my acne and I'm pretty oily. You can see all that shine. So I figured this is the perfect time to try it. And here it is out of the packaging. Basically, I thought it was really cute because I think this would be perfect on the go. And even though I don't go anywhere now because of COVID, maybe after COVID, I can wear it on the go. Um, or maybe if I want to pat under my mask or something, I could do that. There's a mirror and there's blotting sheets and a puff. And the puff, there's like a little plastic under it that I'll just remove. So I've used blotting sheets before. I use like the rice paper from the drugstore. I don't really use it anymore because honestly, I don't understand what's better about it compared to like blotting myself with a tissue or a napkin. But like I said, I figured I'd buy this, give it a try. I think it was $20. I don't think I would have spent more money on this. I'm pretty sure it was $20. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to buy it too, just because it was cheaper and you know, I need video ideas. So here we go. I am very, shiny right now i think i've been more shiny like if i if i ran around today then maybe i'd be shinier but you can see definitely there is shine on my face so i think this is a good test okay i'm gonna try to pick this out i don't know how to open this all right so it's a little dispenser basically there's one blotting sheet my thing about blotting sheets is i think it's basically tissue paper. This feels like tissue paper. Right now, the the rice paper ones from the drugstore, at least, feels like there's something more substantial on it rather than me just peeling CVS tissue paper together and blotting on my face. But, you know, whatever. And there's a hundred of these, so I'm going to try to... I don't want to waste mine. A hundred's a lot, though, but I'm just going to try to use one sheet on my whole face. I'm probably going to need two. All right. That's gross. <laughs> yep, so there's my oil. Sorry if you find this. Wow, I'm way more oily than I thought. Oh god. Oh jeez. That's gross. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna need more than one sheet. That's one sheet down. I'm Still oily and shiny. It's my chin. I, I'm gonna need like three or four, geez. I wish these sheets were bigger. I will say that. Oh yeah, I do have highlighter on this, on my cheeks, so that's why that's shiny, but like this is already sheet number two and I'm trying to get, use as much of it as possible. Because I want to get as much oil off my face before I put a puff on it because I don't want my oil to get absorbed into the powder puff, if that makes sense. Because I feel like that's just not really hygienic. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to 
gonna have to buy another refill of this by the end of this video. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna use all 100 sheets. I think also I'm just a little bit warm right now, so maybe I have a little bit of sweat. If I'm, if you think I'm using this wrong, you know, that's fine. Please don't give me hate in the comments. Yeah, so maybe this is for people that only need one sheet, you know, once in a while, and not someone that needs four sheets for their entire face and is still picking up oil. And I was always thinking if I don't want to buy a refill of something, I can always kind of shove some tissues into the little slot. And I think that would work just fine as well. Still, look at that. I still have so much. I have used five oil blotting sheets. And obviously I think my face is definitely more matte. Um, I am also wearing glitter on my eyes. So ignore, ignore my eye area and ignore right here. Yeah, I think it definitely took away the shine. There's obviously still some like glow or dewiness about my forehead. It's been a long day. I've had makeup on for probably eight hours already. So that's why this is the end of the day type of thing. So I'm assuming this isn't for like the end of the day makeup and you need to touch up. This is more for middle of the day and you need to touch up. That's probably why I used five sheets. I'm just letting you know, just in case you're someone that also gets really oily, these sheets are, sorry, I keep turning on this light by accident. These sheets are the size of my finger. They're not that large. I was hoping that they would be bigger. So that's the oil blotting sheets. I'm just gonna take a tissue, or no, no, there's gonna be a real, I was gonna take a tissue and dab my face some more, but I don't feel like doing that. I'm gonna go for the puff. All right, I'm gonna go for the puff now. And I haven't seen anyone else use this. So like I said, if I'm using it wrong, please don't give me hate. I'm just using what I see. And I saw in a Sephora review of this that someone said you have to pat it because the powder is in the puff that you have to pat it a few times before you like get any product out. I'm just gonna... I can't tell if anything's happening. I think it, I think it feels like there's something there. All right, I'm, I've patted it on my skin a few times. I'm gonna go for my face now. Maybe this is, if this isn't helpful, if this light is not helpful, then definitely let me know, but. I think it, hmm. I'm trying to make this not shiny. I think it is depositing product because when I kind of pat it really fast and push away, I think I see some poof. Hmm. You tell me if this is, if you see a difference. I think I did notice, or I think in some of the Sephora views, people are saying they didn't notice a difference, but I hope something's coming out. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll have to look at the video after I'm done editing it. I think it actually did take away some of the shine that was right here. Let me just try to pat my nose. I'm really just trying to pat it on my, my palm to see if anything's happening and I just am not sure. Hmm. Watch, I'm gonna end up like using all the product that's in here. I'm really confused by this. Okay, so I think I did that. And like I said, I really just wanted this so I can bring it in my purse. Um, ideally, whenever going out is safe and feasible again, because I think this is a really cute compact. That's really it. I'm just a packaging fiend. And it says Rare Beauty on the front. There's nothing on the back. So, like I said, you can decide for yourself what has happened. Like, uh, I definitely... The oil blotting sheets are not my favorite because of how small they are and how thin they feel. It really just feels like tissue paper. And the compact puff, I think it, I think it absorbed the, it either absorbed the oil from my face into the sponge or it patted powder down, but I can't see the powder at all. And I've patted it a few, like more than 10 times. So any powder should have been deposited by now, I would think. 
so yeah that's my opinion of it it was twenty dollars i don't think that's i think it was twenty dollars i don't think it's the worst like i don't think it's like a waste of money but if you're unsure about this after watching my video as much as i am then maybe just skip it or do what i do use a tissue to blot your face when you need to and yeah uh, thank you for watching see you in another video